Can fiberglass cut wood? What about a blade that's made of glass shards and resin? What if we use special resin for high temperatures? There's only one way to find out. But to get there, we need to rewind a little. See, after having to spend hundreds of dollars on replacement saw blades after someone threw all kinds of things into them, I'm on a quest to find the cheapest, most effective, least explosive alternative to a metal saw blade. Because it's not like we have a bunch of that just sitting around. The idea to use fiberglass came about after we used normal glass and it failed explosively. And I'm not just saying that to use descriptive speech. So what if we just started with the glass already in tiny parts so it can't break any further? Also, it was suggested by these viewers like you. It's a good thing I put all those dumb things in epoxy resin because that gave me plenty of experience using resin which I'll use to my advantage to make this fiberglass the highest of quality. Fortunately fiberglass fabric doesn't act anything like all those other loathsome things I've encased so it won't be too much of a challenge to get a good result. I guess the water heater took the day off. Resin in the microwave. Wow, that works swimmingly. I'm going to do 10 layers of fiberglass, painting the resin onto each layer. Just like sending our garbage to China, this only saves money under very specific circumstances. First step is to get your resin for free from Stone Coat Countertops. Then you need to make a YouTube video about the whole process that stretched with bad jokes and side tangents to get the video above eight minutes to increase that sweet, sweet ad revenue. Then you'll actually be making money by making this saw blade. All right, now all that's left to do is watch it dry. Hey guys, welcome back to the Hydraulic Press Channel. All right, now that it's dry, let's test it out. Right after we enjoy this demolding ASMR. All right, let's test it out. All right, she's ready to go. First test, balsa wood. Very soft wood, but technically still wood. Come on. Hardly even a burn on there either. Cut through that balsa like it was balsa wood. Second test, a normal two by four. That isn't really a two by four, it's just a piece of wood. Holy moly, that's working really well. Very minimal damage to the blade itself. Lots of smoke. Starting to burn and fray quite a bit here. Oh, we did it. <laughs> just a little smoky. Would you look at that? It even gives you a cool finish on your wood when you cut it. Now we're talking. How's the blade? Doing all right. A lot better than the wood did at this point. Pretty good, but I think we can improve it. I have two ideas. First, I want to try the same thing, but with special high temperature resin. Second, I want to make a special blade using glass bits and resin. For the glassy resin one, I'll make a nice mold by cutting a hole into some plexiglass and gluing that to some plexiglass. First, I'll lay down a layer of resin. Layer? I hardly know her. And then I'll return to our previous glass saw blade and wring that out to get some nice bite-sized pieces. My mom would be so proud of me. These will make a nice snack to give me energy while I'm working on the rest of the project. Mmm, rock candy. That my favorite. That's my favorite. <laughs> oh, and also I'll put them onto the layer of resin that I put down. Layer? I hardly- Then I'll pour an additional layer of resin on top of that. Look how the glass disappears when I pour the resin. That's pretty neat. All right, all right, I forgot to use mold release. So what? Sue me. Oh, nice. This is still very bendy, so it needs longer to cure. I'm gonna leave this right in the sun because heat helps resin cure faster. All right, well, because the glass was basically perforating the resin, it uh, broke very easily. Nothing a little super glue can't fix. No, don't get stuck to the table. For the high temperature one, I'm going to do the exact same thing I did the first time, but with high temperature resin. I know, it's kind of hard to comprehend, so I'll just demonstrate.
fresh out of the freezer. So it's extra hard. All right, let's try out the cursed combination blade. What doesn't even fit. I'm gonna try balsa first because I'm a little nervous about this one. Well, it uh, made it through the balsa, but uh, terrified me a little bit. Maybe fear for my life. So I'd say it's a success. All right, uh, let's try normal wood. Well, I, uh, I think you can consider that a critical failure. I don't really know why this resin wouldn't cure. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the heat resistant fiberglass blade. This is the low temp resin side. This is the high temp. So it does burn a little less, it seems like. So the high temperature resin is more hard. 